Hey now, lovely Leos. How are you doing? This is a relationship reading for you. I'm going to start off with a general reading. And then I will get into the you and your person reading, which will be three piles. One for you, one for them. And the middle pile will be the progression of the relationship. Let's get on this. Let's see your general reading just to start this out. I like to do these together because a lot of times the, core, the cards will correspond. Wow. Massive changes, Leo. Um, I've had this card come up a few times with uh, not only uh, sign readings, like Zodiac sign readings, but also with um, the energy readings. And it's kind of the energy that I'm kind of picking up right now is there's a lot of shifting going on. I feel like there's a lot of people that are completing these internal cycles. Um, they might externalize, but they're like internal cycles here. We've got the six of pentacles and the seven of wands. Okay. Massive changes. I think you're balancing out. I think you're doing a really good job with this. Some of you, I feel like, are feeling literally lighter. Okay? I also feel like you're starting to add creativity and passion into your life. You're reintegrating this. It might feel a little convoluted right now. Okay? Um, but you're over halfway through this. I feel like you've been trying to integrate more fun in your life. Like it might be hobbies, it might be people, it might be travel. You're, you know, it felt a little bit uncomfortable at first, but I think you're, I want to say like you're over the hump here. Um, we've got this Knight of Wands. So I actually feel like through some of these passion projects, these creative projects, you might have found something that kind of really struck your interest here. I think you're thinking about possibly um, putting together some kind of, I want to almost say like a side hustle with this. Um, I do see you understanding that there's going to be a work involved with that. I feel like it's new for you and you're kind of like reaching back, trying to remember like how to do this. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys kind of went through some massive changes and you're trying to literally like bring some of the joy back in your life here. I feel like this has hung you up a little bit. All right. Um, yeah, I think it kind of caught you off guard. Maybe you tried something that you really, really enjoyed and it kind of caught you off guard here. Don't worry. You're going to get the clarity that you need. Okay. Um, I do see you feeling a little bit restless here. Okay. Like it, it makes you a little bit anxious. All right. Um, I do see there's also a potential of meeting a partner or, you know, maybe that's part of what you're doing. This is a relationship reading, even though we're doing the general first. Um, I feel like this hobby or this passion or this, you know, purpose is going to be bringing in the possibility of this relationship. You might meet during this time. I feel like you're in a position here with this queen and king of swords that you're trying to really be pragmatic about your life right now. Okay, that's what you're kind of focused on. So it might take you off guard a little bit, but I do see uh, that spirit is kind of moving you into calmer waters. And this is kind of when this comes in. Okay, so now that we have a general reading here and we've hit the relationship point, let me reintegrate these cards here and we'll do your relationship reading again. It's three piles. One will be for you. One will be for your person. And the middle pile will be for the relationship. I'm going to shuffle one more time, I'm hearing. Leos, I see, I just see some of you like recreating yourself. You're, start, you're starting to get excited about something, about life in general. Things might be going well for you. Um, but I feel like there's, you're pulling in some, some joy here. Okay. For yourself, right? Let's see. Ah, all right. <clears throat> okay. I've got 
a Wheel of Fortune coming out for the middle card. I have a Three of Wands coming out for one side of this. And on the other side, I have this Eight of Cups. So someone is in the process or has recently left a situation, could have moved reverence, uh, excuse me, residences. Somebody is actually, has actually like moved states, okay? On this side, this person is in the middle of celebrating a new beginning here. Wheel of Fortune indicates that there's a lot of possibility in this relationship, okay? Um, I have a Nine of Cups coming in. I feel like you guys are pretty well suited here, okay? There's, um, I feel like there's contentment when this comes together. Um, I also feel like, like you... I don't want to say ambition. I think you guys are excited to grow something together here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for the three of wands, I also have a two of wands. Now I feel like this is back in the past leading to the three of wands. We have the ace of wands in reverse. We have the two of wands that leads into the three of wands. So I think there was some time out here. Whoever this person is took some time out to really decide how they wanted to do this, okay? Um, and I feel like this action has a lot to do with what they're planning for the future. Let's ask about what's happening now for this Three of Wands. Thank you. Sorry, guys, sometimes I don't say it out loud. I apologize. Yeah, yep. I think this, I think somebody is weaving this, um, this creativity this new cycle of action into, you know, some kind of a business opportunity. Um, and I think I'm seeing that there are some really solid relationships around you while you're doing this. You're being called out to have patience here. Okay. So this is what this person is going through right now. This is what led up to that three. They're in the process of balancing out and they're really trying to have patience with the process. They're trying to stay aligned. This is the earth angel card. They're trying to keep it really high vibe is what I'm hearing. We've got this eight of cups. Okay. I have an eight of pentacles coming out. That's interesting. The two eights are showing up here. Hmm. Somebody could have recently moved because of work. Um, there could have been a better opportunity or they're contemplating this move. I feel like somebody has left a lot behind though. I'm going to tell you that. I feel like um, in the background, you know, it was a big decision to do this. Now, it doesn't mean that they literally moved residences. This could be you know, um, changing careers, like a brand new career path. I feel like it was pretty, it was a pretty big change. It was a pretty big decision. Okay. I feel like they're falling right in step though. As soon as they made the decision to do this, bam, everything kind of balanced out here. I feel like there was a lot of intuition for this. I feel like there was a big mind trap. This is the past coming into the move here. Um, this person really had to get past a lot of things to be able to do this, okay? And bam, they've got the sunshine. The sunshine and this eight of pentacles is where they're sitting now, okay? But the progression was they really had to have a lot of faith and really do some work here um, as far as getting out of the mind traps, like letting a lot of things go to be able to progress into this sunshine here. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's see what's happening with the Seven of Pentacles. What does this look like in the future, please? Tell me more about this relationship. This is a brand new beginning. When you guys come together, I think you're going to be in a really good space. Okay, I think both of you are going to be a little bit concerned about repeating some of these cycles. And it's going to make you go slowly towards this commitment. There might be a little bit of destabilization. Um, I do feel like there's chemistry here. All right. There's a strong sense of 
possibility. Mm -hmm. I've got the page of swords in reverse. I feel like the fear is going to, you're going to work through the fear here. Okay, the best way to do this is to have a conversation about it, right? Have a conversation about it. Um, I do see celebrations coming in around this. Yeah. Oh, I've got two cards there. Ace of Pentacles. This relationship has been gifted to you from the universe um, for both of you. This is mutual. This could be possibly somebody from your past, but I see you stepping into something new here. Now you could both be deciding, this could be somebody from your past, but you could be like starting a new beginning. But if you, if it is somebody from your past, it's been a while since you've been involved with this person. Um, and I think that part of this right, is if, if you're thinking of a new person in this reading, this is because you had to let go. This person had to let go of something in their past. This person had to start this new beginning with this creative project. So I feel like you both have picked this new cup to progress, right? And look at that, 10 of Pentacles. This is legacy building. This is um, you know, three generations are on the rider weight card. Okay. An older person, a couple, this, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I do feel like there's potential. Um, the only warning I'm getting again is to have this patience to stay aligned. This person, I feel like they need to kind of focus on what they're doing for a while. Okay. I'm just trying to, I, I'm going to read on this temperance card. I feel like there's more to that. I've got an ace of cups in reverse. Yeah, I was going to say this person, it's not only about just having patience in general, but it's about having patience with themselves. Okay. This is, to me, this is ringing out as self-care here. It took the progression to bring in that creativity. It's going to take a progression to bring back in the, um, the love here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of you are being guided into this relationship. You may not recognize it for what it actually is at first. Okay. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? The dance, finding these things out as we go along. Yeah, I feel like um, it's going to kind of catch you both off guard as to the connection here. The potential of the connection. Okay, like you're not going to think, it's kind of like you're not going to think you're going to feel this way about this person. And here you spend some time together and you're like, oh, wow, this is really awesome. Yep, we have a change in the wind. We have yang in the reverse. We have go the distance in the reverse. So this is telling me here that this will be a big change for both of you, okay? It's going to knock you kind of off your feet a little bit with this yang in the reverse, all right? And you guys are going to be kind of questioning. It's going to be so powerful. You're going to be like, is this going to go the distance here? Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is so funny. There's two loyal hearts here, just so you know. You both want this to work, okay? Um, they're telling you to take your time with this here. Rome isn't built in a day is what I'm getting. I'm also getting the peace card. Take your time. I have Treasure Island coming out as well. This, again, was gifted to you guys. Um, I think this person over here is really kind of still integrating their heart space, their emotions, and you need to allow for that in this process. I'm going to ask specifically for that person over there. Yeah, this person is trying to, they're trying to, to build something here and they they might be really, really busy. Okay. And 
it's going to give this person time to integrate. So everything's going to work out, right? It's going to balance itself out here. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to feel like, um, like where I'm, I'm literally hearing like, where have you been all my life? Like from that movie, right? I don't think you feel that way at first. I think it's kind of like, you don't recognize it at first. It's going to take you by surprise. And both of you are being called in as much as we had the masculine in the reverse, right? You're being called to use the divine feminine energy, that gentleness, that nurturing energy, okay? Because this relationship is definitely blessed. We've got milk and honey coming out too. Beautiful reading. Beautiful. Let's get an oracle card for you. Wow, it popped right out here. <clears throat> We've got creative block. Isn't that funny? Okay. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need it. This, I'm sorry, I'm obviously being called to put that there. Let's grab another one for, I keep seeing that sunshine over there. Okay, I've got direction. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Yeah, this person is kind of feeling, um, I feel like this, this person has shifted. This, this was not something they expected, this move. And I feel like it kind of has them out of sorts and it's making, it's bringing them to a sense of urgency. Okay. Um, which a lot of people on the planet are feeling right now, that sense of urgency, the sense of some of them are having like a sense of foreboding. Okay. Um, yeah, I keep feeling like this has to do with really holding on to your joy here. Okay. I'm going to pull one out on the relationship in general, Leo. All right. That's too many. Let me try again. Forgiveness and truth came out if that resonates with anybody. Okay, for the relationship, I have make it God's. Release the idea of mine, my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationships, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my, <coughs> of my dear Lord. This is about understanding that you need to pull together, right? Um, it takes the emotion out of it, right? Okay. It takes the emotion out of it and then you can create, co-create together, right? And it allows the divine to step in. So this is the, you know, the our relationship, the relationship. Let's see where this is going, right? Let's see where the job is going. Let's, I feel like it's a control thing here. Maybe both of you kind of feel like you want to control how this progresses and it needs to be organic. I've got money. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. Yeah, this is about divine timing, having that trust and kind of releasing and letting things go as they go. Okay. I hope this has been helpful. Claim this. This is a beautiful reading. I mean, this is kind of awesome watching this person kind of cultivate this creative spirit and bring that back in. We so much need that on the planet. And this person is like the gutsy one. By the way, Leo, that is your card coming out here. This person's really gutsy taking that leap, right? Starting something completely new, going past that mind trap, right? And I mean, this is a very, very beautiful reading here. These two people coming together. I think it's, it's, um, I think there's a lot of, uh, connection here through this spirit of vitality, the spirit of discovery. Okay. 
Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please remember to check out the shop. I've got new designs up. Please check out the description box for the, the books that are there, the free download. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, Leo, be kind out there.